From Git's newest power tools to AI agents shaking up the enterprise and a file converter that keeps your data private, all that and more on this episode of The Download. Welcome back to another episode of The Download, the show where we cover the latest developer news and open source projects. And please like and subscribe. I'm your host, Cassidy, and I work here in developer advocacy here at GitHub. Let's get into it. All right, folks, let's kick things off with some big news from the world of Git. Version 2.52 is out, and it packs a punch. The new headline feature is Git Last Modified. This command makes it ridiculously fast to find out which command touch each file in a directory, which is a massive step up from the older, much slower log-based scripts. It's basically the equivalent of giving Git Blame a jetpack. It optimizes what used to be a slog, log, slog, there's a joke in there somewhere, into something you'll actually use during code reviews. If you ever waited impatiently while your who broke this script ran, you're about to get precious minutes of your life back as you realize it was you all along. There's more to Git 2.52 around repo maintenance, security, and more, which you can see a rundown on on the GitHub blog. Now, let's shift gears from source control to the ever-present AI. And I hope you're ready because Google just shook up the leaderboard with Gemini 3 Pro. It has landed. People have been buzzing about it for weeks, betting on when it would land, and now that wait is over. Google says that this is the most powerful AI model they've ever built. Gemini 3 isn't just about passing tests. It's built to plan, to act, to orchestrate tools, and to manage multi-step tasks on your behalf. You can try it today in GitHub Copilot with your pro plan. Speaking of agents, Microsoft revealed at their Ignite conference this week that they're also raising the stakes with their new Agent 365. Think of this as mission control for AI agents in the enterprise. AI agents are multiplying like the number of browser tabs I have, and Microsoft wants you to manage and observe them with better control and discipline than I have with all of my articles that I'm totally, definitely going to read someday. And now for some really cool open source, Vert. Ever wanted to convert a file without worrying about privacy or size limits or upload speeds? Enter Vert. It's the next generation file converter that stays local always. It's built with Svelte and TypeScript. Vert uses WebAssembly to do all of its conversion magic right on your machine. It can convert over 250 file formats with no size limits, and you don't have to trust your sensitive PDFs or raw video files with some random cloud server. Just hit vert.sh and let your browser do the heavy lifting. And that's all for now. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on any of the topics we discussed this week. We do read all of those comments for better or for worse, and we want to know your thoughts. And if you liked this episode, please give it a thumbs up to serve those algorithm gods and subscribe to GitHub's YouTube channel for all of your nerdy needs. We'll see you again soon. Peace out.